Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, aka Himbar, and today I have another book haul for you. I recently went on vacation, in fact, I just got back today as of recording this, and I got some books while on vacation, unsurprisingly. I went to two bookstores, one heavily a used bookstore, the other, it was a used bookstore, but almost every book on the shelf was in very nice condition, and I got most of these books from one. And so I just wanted to show you, since I thought you might be interested, and in seeing on some of these books that I was able to pick up. Now, I'm going to start off with these just to get out of the way so I can go put them in their box. I was able to find two antique books. One is a collection of poems by, I believe his name is William Cullen Bryant. I just looked through it real quick when I was at the store and I was like, I like this, I like poetry. It's antique as well. I believe it's from the 1880s, so I'm not exactly sure on that. So I got that. Along those same lines, I have Swinburne's, Swinburne's, I'm not sure how to say a poem. This is a smaller volume, but also antique from about the same time period. Okay, and then on to, I have some more pulpy fiction here for anyone who likes that. So I got Swords in the Mist by Fritz Leiber. This is book three of Fawford and the Grey Master series. This one's shorter, it's about only 190 pages. I'm really looking forward to it. I actually discovered recently that Centipede Press has been doing very nice versions of this Fawford and the Great Master series, and they go out of print so quickly. And so I, I'm trying to get my hands on the latest one at least, but I think there's very little chance I'll be able to get my hands on on the first four or so books I think it is that are already out of print. I'm looking forward to more of this classic buddy-buddy sword and sorcery goodness. Okay, next we have book two of Thieves World, which we'll be reading in September. I thought might as well jump the gun a little. I found this for really, really cheap. This is Tales from the Vulgar Unicorn. This is book two of Thieves World. This one has more stories in it by Aspirin and Abby, but there's also, there's just so many different authors, honestly, that contributed to Thieves World. I found out even when they rebooted Thieves World in the aughts, that Jeff Grubb actually wrote a couple stories in their anthologies, and that excites me because I like Jeff Grubb's writing. Anyways, among all the other writers that are already in there. Along those same lines, I have book eight, I believe it is in Thieves World. I only have the first two. I saw this one, it was dirt cheap. I was like, might as well get it. Is Soul of the City here? This is one of the reprints. I believe the first 12 or so have original covers, and then they reprinted all of them, and then the newer ones in this style in the aughts. This, they actually look nicer. I mean, the design of them is very nice. I mean, you can feel all of this stuff on the edge here. You can feel the words sticking out. Really, really nice. I like the artwork on both. If I really enjoy Thieves World, I might go out of my way just to get both sets, the original sets and the reprints, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Then I have a Birthright book. I actually showed off in my last book haul that I got The Iron Throne, I believe it was called, by Simon Hawk, which is the first Birthright book. This is the second. This is called Great Heart. It's by a different author, even. It says here Dixie Lee McKinn? Kaon? I, I don't know how to say it. And so this one's a lot shorter than the first one. I found it. I, I actually found quite a few books that are somewhat rare that I actually already had it, and, and some of them are in really great shape. And so I was like, this is in good shape. I'm going to get this real quick just to add it because I feel like I'm going to enjoy the Iron Throne. I don't even know when I'll get to it. That's a problem, right? And then along that same lines, I have the third Spelljammer book. This is The Maelstrom's Eye. Not as good as a cover art as the first two books. Also a different cover design entirely, which is interesting. See when I get to this, what I think of it. Then we have some pulpy classic. I believe this is actually a 50s cost the latest day that I can find in the book. That is, I believe her name's Lee. Maybe it's Lay, but Lee Brackett, The Sword of Rion. So um, Owen from Owen Edwards actually just recently reviewed this. This is a very small book. It's actually not quite as tall as most books are, so it's, it's really short and really small. Classic. I believe this is Sword and Planet. I am looking forward to getting to this, so it shouldn't be that hard to fit in. Along those same lines, this is my first book by Lynn Carter, who's a famous in the same genre. It is By the Light of the Green Star. I found this in a bookstore. I found it really cheap. I was like, this looks pretty cool. I don't really know. I, I haven't read anything by her, and so I was like, might as well just grab this, see what I think. And then one book that I have heard high praise for, and Renfail even said it was his favorite work by Zelazny, which I believe Zelazny is his favorite author. So is this your favorite book, Renfail? I'm not exactly sure. But that is Road Marks by Zelazny. It's in really good shape. I'm not exactly sure what year this copy is from, but 
I'm looking forward to reading this. And then a more popular book. I'm sure some of you have literally never heard of any of those books, which is fine. That's what I'm here for. But a book that definitely a lot of people have heard of is more popular recently. That is Pierce Brown's Red Rising. Not a very thick book. I always find that modern books I can generally read easier and when they're this size I feel like I can fly through them. Even I could probably read this just about as quick as I can like 150 page like classic pulpy book because it's just easier to read but at the same time is it as good? I don't know. I heard actually that this is the weakest of the series but I do plan on trying it and I'll let you know what I think when I do get to it, though I'm not exactly sure when that'll be. And then last but not least is another Thieves World novel. That is the last, actually. It is Sanctuary. So I said another novel. This is actually another Thieves World book. This is a novel. The other ones are anthologies, though. This is my first Thieves World novel I've ever owned. It's nice hardcover. The jacket is a little beat up some. This is by Lynn Abbey. I've read one of her books before. That is The Nether Scroll. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the character work, though it did have its problems, mostly that it was just too slow to start. I'm looking forward to this. It actually kind of makes me sad, even though I haven't read a lick of Thieves World, that this is the last novel and that there's no more after that. And I mean, it's been about 20 years. And so, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I think of Thieves World. I just thought this was a nice find. I've never seen Lynn Abbey at any used bookstore, which is sad, even though I've only read one of her novels. But I was like, you know what, hardcover, Sanctuary, I'm gonna get it. I can't resist this. It wasn't even very expensive anyways. Yeah, it was six bucks. What the heck? Six bucks. I, I couldn't pass it up. So, Sanctuary. Anyways, I hope that was a quick enough, fun little vacation book haul for you. If any of you wanna read any of these with me anytime, doesn't even have to be that soon. What, I mean, what's soon to be, right? That's all relative. So if anyone wants to read any of these with me, I will almost certainly gladly, if I can fit it in and if I'm generally in the mood. I am a big mood reader, but we'll see. Just let me know if you've heard of any of these, if you've read any of these. So it's been Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I will see you next time.